Well, a new NBC News poll showing inflation and the economy are the two most important issues for Americans ahead of the midterm elections. Red Apple Group Chairman and CEO and Gristides and D'Agostino's food president, John Katsimatidis, joining me now. John, great to see you. Thank you very much. I don't know if you heard about, and I know you know about, the, these plans by Pelosi and Biden to... Uh, put the finger on producers, on oil producers. You, now, you know both about food and oil. Let me David. start with oil. But yes. if, if we have price controls, the one thing that is clear in economics is price controls always, always lead to shortages, right? David, let's start with Washington. If Washington stops, there should be a law against Washington, the Congress, and White House, and Senate lying to the American people. If we have, versus uh, any other law, if, we, if they stop lying to the American people, the world would be better off. It all, inflation, it all starts with oil. When you double the price of oil, everything filters down to food, yep. everything filters down to everything else. Look at the manufacturing numbers this morning. And they're dependent on diesel fuel. We're, you know, our company, we're, we're getting all our product from Canada, and it comes through the pipeline. We have no shortages. But the Colonial Pipeline, uh, that brings up from the Gulf, has shortages on diesel. The uh, oil coming in from, we're expecting oil from Russia, from Saudi Arabia, their production is down. Venezuela, they hardly have any production if we're right. depending on them. North America has all the oil we need, except there's a war by Washington on North American oil. Why? The American people are saying, why is there a war on North American oil by Washington? If you, if you stop the war against North American oil, the inflation will go away. The food prices will come down. The gasoline prices will come down. Everything will open up. Why is there a war? I mean, when you cancel leases in Alaska, we have two million barrel a day pipeline in Alaska, and we're only using 400,000 barrels. And then what happens on Friday? They cancel the leases in right. Alaska. Right. No, it's I crazy. mean, you can't make, you cannot, David, you can't make this stuff up. Well, John, John, the, their reasons there that they say they're they're for cutting back on on oil, if they're if they're honest enough to admit that, because sometimes they they continue to say that they're encouraging oil production, uh, at the same time they're canceling all of these these pipelines and other things. But they say it's to for for the good of the world because that'll cut back on global warming, that'll clean our air. In fact, by going to places Places like Venezuela, David, you're in the oil up. business. You know nobody makes oil in a dirtier way than the Venezuelans do. Why would we go to Venezuela if we want to clean the air? I mean, it's exactly the opposite of what you want to do. You want to produce here where we produce cleanly and produce cleaner burning oil, no? Absolutely correct. We do, we do the best job in North America. China does whatever they want. Uh, you know, Russia does whatever they want. Why are our hands tied? Why are we prisoners of the world when we're letting everything else, the rest of the world, slide? <laughs> Venezuela, Russia, Saudi Arabia. I mean, we're, we're so short of oil, even Saudi's production is down. We're so short of oil, we're, we're negotiating with the Iranians through the Russians it's to give us more oil. It's unbelievable. You can't make it up. Now, on top of, of having supply problems right now, they're, they're starting these, these price gouging hearings. Uh, there's, there's no evidence of price gouging at all, but they're doing that. And the suggestion by a lot of people inside the Beltway is that they're working towards price caps or price controls. And as I said before, that always leaves leads to shortages. So we might have not only sky high prices, but also those gas lines from the 70s, no? I think the common sense, the common sense Democrats are finally going to come out and say enough is enough. <coughs> There's a lot of common sense Democrats, <coughs> I mean, that are not going to listen to that. And it, you can't, 
you know, there should, like I said, I started the conversation with, there should be a rule against lying to the American people. Yeah. Open up North America energy and inflation goes away, prices of oil go down, gasoline prices go down, and everything, and, and the sun will shine for the rest of the century. John, let's talk specifically about food. Uh, we know that there are problems with regard to the high energy prices, and those are passed along the food we buy because obviously stuff has to be transported, et cetera. Uh, but there are also problems with fertilizer around the world because a lot of fertilizer comes from natural gas. That's a main ingredient of fertilizer. I mean, are we facing a worldwide shoot, food problem that could affect consumers here in the United States? Everything flows downhill. A fertilizer, a lot of it is made through the oil products. And, and there is a shortage of fertilizer. And what happens when all the countries export wheat or whether they export any other product? They're saying, let's take care of our country first. And they're taking care of their countries, and we're going to be short on product. And uh, that, that leads to the problem. And there's no problem right, right now, baby food. Let's, if you follow the chain of events on baby food, is, is the, we've shut down a, a few uh, uh, baby food production facilities because of, uh, of so-called bacteria. But if you check into it, and, and people are checking into it, it shouldn't have happened. It, it had nothing to do with the original problem with bacteria. So we're creating, Washington is creating our own banana peel. Now you and, say, and, by and, the way, and, John, and, you, you, know, say, I, you, said that many you times. say that there are Democrats that are, that are uh, going to be pushing back and stopping the administration. But as we saw last week, they continue with their anti-fossil fuel policies. Through regulations alone, they don't have to go through Congress for a lot of these measures that are hurting oil production and that may actually uh, hurt production of food products because they're after the meat producers well, and a whole lot of people that are in the food production industry. David, you said it right. They don't have to go through Congress. The common sense Democrats, a lot in Congress, a lot in Senate. But if the White House makes a, a, a decision and they don't check with anybody, they, they, we're going to take this country downhill. If, if we don't bring down inflation through opening up the energy prices and we force the Fed to raise the interest rates, you know what's going to happen? We're going to wipe out the real estate industry besides. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it, it's tough times all over, tough times, but it really begins with energy. But we're I think it begins. Our own banana peel, though, David. I think the banana peel really be, is is the the gas production, the oil production, and and the refusal of this administration uh, to go where we have to go for that. John Katzimatidis, good to see you, my friend. We got to leave it at that. Thank you very much for being here.